Okay, today I'm going to be pulling this tractor out of um, its burrow <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens from here. Okay, to my amazement, the little guy still seems like it's uh, rolling pretty good, so it's a possibility that I'll get this thing going uh, um, eventually, soon, hopefully. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Okay, I pulled the uh, tractor out of um, that area it was buried in, um, and you can see the wheel. What's good about it is the wheels are still, um, the tractor still can be moved. The wheels are still, still rolls pretty good. Um, the only thing is the steering is frozen solid. If I can get that uh, free, that'll probably uh, probably that's all I'm going to really need. Um, the transmission, I can see it still shifts here. So let's see. Pulleys are working. Uh, um, the tree. I have to dig that tree out of there yet. It's still, it grew around the pulley. The hood still works. It needs some type of hinge on it. And then, of course, I got to get a motor. Um, the only thing that uh, worries me a little bit is the steering mechanism, the linkage. I think it looks like it has some sort of uh, kingpins in it. I have to free them up, so it'll be a while. Uh, before I hit it with some penetrating oil and uh, maybe that way I can get it freed up. It's going to need new tires up front. Oddly enough, uh, after 26 years of being buried, um, the rear tires still hold some air in them. Uh, they're going to be a little difficult to get off this couple lug nuts that still hold each wheel on. Uh, this linkage here, I don't know if a well broke on it or how it was fastened at one time, and that, that'll control the plow. But, um, if I get a running in that, that, that's a very minor thing to take care of. But um, here we go, there's a 58 wheel horse. Um, ready for restoration. Thanks for watching.